Hey guys, and welcome back to more Daymare. When we last left off, we came home as we was playing as Sam to find that Sandman had uh, horribly murdered our wife by ripping her arm off and uh, doing bad things to her neck, I would assume. Now, unfortunately, this has upset Sam a little bit, so we have to go on an epic tale of revenge and murder. Also, what happened to the toilet, man? Jesus. I mean, come on. And the shower, for that matter. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's hope we don't need our um, Daymare Syndrome tablets, because we're leaving those behind. Right. That bastard. He took my Jeep. <gasps> Wait a minute. By passing with the funicular, I can still get to the city before him. Well, let's go do just that, shall we? Uh, do we need to leave the generator on? Uh, probably not. I bet we can't turn it off though, can we? The generator is running smoothly. Yes, it's a shame there's no one alive in the house to use it. Never mind. Okay, let's keep going. I suppose being alive is very much optional in this place. Ah! It's our old friend Roland. <laughs> Our dear old friend Roland got better. Good for him. Also, how you could identify anybody looking like that is beyond me. But whatever. Right, let's drag the these guys out here. Come on, Roland. No need to be like that. We can't defend ourselves in this state. But luckily, that's going to change. Like that. <laughs> oh, it's Have just. You all lost their damn minds? <laughs> I need to get back to the city. To... <laughs> oh no. Brad. Oh no. What the hell is going on here? He looks a lot like Roland, doesn't he? I like the way everybody's face has melted. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with everybody indeed? Well, at least we've got a shotgun now. My god, it's Brad. He must have gotten himself killed by these nasty creatures. Yeah, maybe everybody's just having a bit of a jape. Everyone's having a bit of fun with you, Sam. It's fine. Now, one of the great things about the shotgun is we just reload it normally. You hold down the button to reload the shells. And the shotgun is actually really good. Are we... No. Yep, we're stuck. Good lord. I did wonder if there's going to be a secret stash of ammo there. Let's try that again, shall we? So, uh, the shotgun. You know, I guess you don't get a lot of ammo for the shotgun, do you? Well, you'd be wrong. You get loads of ammo for the shotgun. And we are going to make somewhat liberal use of it. Evening, Squire. Hello, guys. What's going on out here? Off with your head. Yeah, sometimes zombies do survive the initial blast. It's rare. But it happens. Now, what else can we find around here? Nothing out here, I guess. We've got four shotgun cartridges left. Be better if it was 14. Oh well. I mean, 10 will do. So, what else we got? Any other goodies? Yeah, the game is going to literally throw shotgun shells at us left and right. And I am so here for it, because uh, the shotgun in this game is actually pretty good, to be honest. I've used way worse uh, shotguns in um, AAA video games than this. 
to be fair, I don't really have a lot of gripes with the weapons in general. I guess that's where Roland got up from. Good for him. Hello. Well, someone set you on fire, apparently. War ends. Local hero. Keen sight. Fellow citizen back alive from the European front. European front. War ends. Medals. Good for him. We like that. That's a success story. We do like to hear our success stories. It's very quiet out here. Evening. Hello, friend. Oh, that was not great. There we go. Let's take our shotgun for a walk. This place is a dump. And you can't even say, oh, it's because they quickly um, barricaded the place up. Because there's no way they had time to barricade this place up. I'm pretty sure, actually, there's like an achievement here. Um, sure there is. Uh, I'm sure there's an achievement that I haven't got. Back here somewhere, according to my notes. Because there's, uh, there is actually quite a few achievements that I never got. Uh, playing this game. I got a surprising amount of them, to be fair. But, yeah, just one or two that I missed. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. We examine this. Are they... There we go. Find the branded oak barrel. Now, most of those are references. Uh, I don't really get most of the references because I don't really watch films or TV. Uh, I play video games, you know. It's kind of what I do. Oh, and work. Yeah, video games and work. But um, I got some of them. Which is always fun. Alright. Now let's go murder hunting zombies. The best kind of hunting. There's a fox there. That makes me sad. Alright there, friend. Oof. He's gone now. Now these tubby guys are actually quite strong. Oh, come on. He's just being greedy. Honestly. Now we don't technically ever come back here. So I don't really think it's worth fighting all of these guys. So let's just... Ooh. We stop running for some reason, which actually is a thing that I've noticed. Ah, oh, okay. This is probably going to get worse before it gets better. Yep. The enemies can kind of stun knock you if you're not careful. But that's all right. Ooh. You sausage. Should have just blasted him. Right, he's done. Don't think there's anything worth picking up out here. We lost some health, but it doesn't matter. As I say, this game isn't particularly hard, so like losing health isn't like a massive thing. Dear uh, Alice, my dyslexia won't let me read that. Um, anyway. At last, the big day has finally come. Um, I dream about... Oh, this is... Yeah, this one's really weird. At last, the big day has finally come. I dream about it for all the year. And now that it's here, I cannot wait more. When I'm out in the river riverbank fishing, surrounded by the virgin nature, I will surely think of you. I surely will. Then you, my young friend, will be the one shut in here, 
sandwiched between the heated metal sheets to serve as a guide to the few tourists who still visit this the mountains that being said your only real concern is to ensure that this rusted heap of scrap is actually working for some days you will regain uh, you'll reign over this kingdom but as I've told you a dozen times already, you've only got to remember the fundamentals. First, the level of engine fuel must always be adequately maintained. Otherwise, you'll have to stick your hand directly into the plumbing system located under the tank. Second, the cab's emergency brake sticks on occasion. If this happens, you've got to unlock it manually uh, by removing the safety plate. Thirdly, Although it's fairly obvious, you need to lift the shutters every morning and make sure they're closed at night. Easy as hooking some of them trout, right? I'm sure you'll get it done. And remember, boredom is your own enemy out here, so be sure to make use of my card stack. A game of solitaire can really help pass the time. Or, you know, get a Game Boy. Because this was 1998. Alright, so now we've got a bit of a puzzle to complete. Now... This one is not too bad. So, first things first. I can't remember if there's any goodies out here. Yeah, sometimes my dyslexia just comes on and I can't really see the words. It's a very weird thing. This monument is dedicated to the Lewis and Clark convoy that passed through here in 1805. The pioneering duo etched something onto the stone. May fortune attend those who capture this ex uh, exquisite view at sunrise. Ah, very, very, very touching. Are there no shotgun shells out here? Boo. Right, let's grab the fuse. Now, one thing, one thing that is worth mentioning is we don't have an inventory. Because we don't have one of those cool armband thingies. So, you know, that's a bit of an issue. Right, now, let's get things working, if I could remember. So, we've got to put the fuse in. Yes. So, the gate's now open. So, all of those things that every now and again do go wrong with this thing, we come here to suddenly find that all of those things have gone wrong. So... Let's get this working. This is usually just trial and error, but because I've already done it before, uh, we should be okay. So, we want to push number four, number two, number five, number three, number one. Hey! And now we just got to sort the fuel system out. So... Let's have a little go at this. Uh, this one can be a little bit annoying. I'm pretty sure this is uh, similar to a puzzle that was in Resident Evil 4. In fact, it was. It was the Resident Evil 4 um, puzzle behind the clock. No, it wasn't behind the clock tower, was it? You fool. It was behind the church. So, we've got to turn five. We've got to turn three uh, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have to turn five three times. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, that one took me a while. <laughs> but it does actually tell you there. Um what order everything should be in however because that's ripped off i didn't know whether we had to light that one up or not uh but you don't anywho let's get going shall we uh oh yeah we've got to fiddle with the knob we do like to fiddle with knobs in this game there we go now what's kind of perplexing yeah. This piece of junk works. You'll find these first aid kits uh, everywhere, but you can't use them. They're literally everywhere. Maybe because they're Kuranuso. That might be a name that comes up later on. All 
Alright. Because obviously this town is run by uh, Hexacore. Yeah, not not quite believing it. Not quite um believing the illusion of this voice acting. After witnessing the brutal slaying of his wife, Samuel pursues the mysterious and ruthless killer into the city to extract his revenge. He arrives in keen sight via a old funicular and finds himself in front of Sacred Heart Hospital, where the killer was headed. In the parking lot of the building, however, he witnesses something totally unexpected. What you saw and what happened next would jeopardize my plan. HQ, HQ, this is Liev. I've reached the extraction point. Standing by for evac. Over. We're with you, Liev. An alpha team has been dispatched to your location. Hold position. Get rid of any hostiles. There's no hostiles in the area. Not so fast, Agent. You really think you can walk away from this? Sandman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How is this possible? Your guess is as good as mine. But aren't you the least bit curious of how your little stunt affected me? Oh, come on, Lee. You still got one more round to show me something before you throw in the towel. Throwing it in. See, I've got a flight to catch. And to be honest, I don't give a fuck about boxing. <laughs> you throw your hands pretty fast, Major. I'll give you that. But tell me this can you throw your hands faster than a bullet? <laughs> no, no, no. How the mighty have fallen. Without the safety of your helo, What? Scores to soiling those pretty hands of yours. Tell me this, does it ever cross your mind what you did to me at Groom Lake? No? Well, this time, you're stuck on my battlefield, bitch. And you'll be the one bleeding out, not me. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. Because when it's all said and done, you'll be remembered as a traitor. Always did squawk too much. You know, life is indeed just like boxing. You psych your opponent into thinking you'll do one thing, then you do another. You got only yourself to blame for this, Lee. After all, you're the one that made me this way. Oh, come on, Lee. Stop shaking. You look ridiculous. you die back in 94 yeah let me die would have saved us both a headache the state of the board had gotten worse and sam walker was officially the next mouth to stitch shut especially now that i had lost control of my pawn and the ability to recover our precious sample. Yeah, kind of an odd scene, to be honest. Um, so, Sandman just richly ripped leave a new asshole, quite literally. A uh, bit odd, the way that happened. Like, leave wouldn't shut the fuck up. Like, I mean, it, it just went on and on and on. And uh, basically embarrassed himself with the embarrassing shit that was coming out of his mouth. I suppose it was supposed to sound badass and cool, but yeah. And then you see Sandman after he killed him, it like starts eating him, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, we know that um, Sandman is infected with the uh, Pollux. Because he got, oh no, the cast of virus, I think it is. Because uh, Leave smashed it in his face. But we read the diary that says 
they need hormones so he needs to eat his like hypothalamus so why he was i don't know anyway whatever so military orders subjects commands for dalius team keen sight sacred heart hospital orders go to the facility and place it under quarantine for supervisors who will be arriving later mark the areas that may pose a potential biohazard with special tarps and eliminate any threats. All infected corpses must be disposed of by incinerating them. As soon as the area has been decontaminated and it's secure, a team of Hades operatives will be sent to recover sensitive data and the level 4 personnel, awaiting confirmation that decontamination has been completed. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Sure it's fine. Right, let's go see if there's any like, ammo or anything littered around. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot of much, to be honest. Okay. So Sam has now officially seen some shit. Sandman definitely uh, is a little bit tougher. Thanks to that virus that he's just ingested. Now we have an inventory. I wonder actually if we look at our file notes. Um, oh, we don't have any data. All right, cool. So there's plenty of bodies out here. Looks like they've been trying to burn them. Probably the best thing to do with them, to be honest. But from what I can understand, from what I can remember, um, this virus isn't transmittable by being bitten or infected by the creatures. It doesn't work that way. It works uh, via infection by the actual airborne virus itself and no other way, which is cool. It's a unique thing. It's a way of explaining why we can get puked on and bitten 58,000 times and nothing actually happens to us. So anyway, if we remember watching the cutscene where our friend runs into the hospital, we know that there's bullets there. And what's interesting about our stamina meter as well, it actually recharges faster than it runs down. You take your finger off the button, it literally recharges in seconds. Which is quite nice. And we've finally got a handgun as well. Don't have any spare mags for it, but that's fine. Anywho, let's get into the hospital itself. See what's going on in this place. Probably nothing good. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hello. Calm down, love. Allow me to administer you the cure. I think she's down. It's hard to tell whether they're dead permanently or not especially here because they don't appear to bleed out in the hospital find evidence that the killer is nearby you got it boss we'll do what we can hey sounds like there's some zeds in there that's fine um evening you done yeah you're done So, what have we got around here? Nothing super exciting, apparently. Oh, they've got the emergency broadcast system is working as advertised. That's always good. It's not a test, no. We can see that by the amount of bodies that are everywhere. Ooh. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. Not all zombies are that considerate. Okay, so we've got a handful of bullets. Mainly shotgun shells, really. But that's okay. 
I'd rather have shotgun shells anyway, to be honest. Now, I believe we have to come back here later anyway. Did you just get back up? I think they did. Keen Sight, Sacred Heart Hospital personnel card. Okay, number 667. Okay, number 667. We'll, we'll certainly have that. Looks like she's dead. Can't even search that door. That door, yes, we need to come back here a little bit later on. Okay, let's go deeper, deeper underground. Oh, sounds like we've got some excitement downstairs. Hello, all right there. An incredibly odd looking nurse. Oh, I always think these nurses look incredibly butch. Can you say that in 2023? Probably. Well, I mean, I can. I can say whatever I want. But, uh, yeah. They are very odd looking. To say that much. Come on, you. Especially when you look at the doctors. Doctors kind of look. Feminine. I don't know what it is. Or should I say the female looking doctors? Kind of hard to say. Right, maternity is this way. Interesting. I've got a feeling we're going to be going to maternity. Sooner rather than later. It's very quiet. It's very quiet in here now, which we like. Alright, let's load up. Lovely. I don't think we can use the tissues for anything. Which is a shame. Ooh, what have we got here? Eh, uh, H additive. Sure, we'll take the H additive. I guess. Better than uh, having nothing. Hey, hello. This one's getting a bit of a wiggle on. You really are the greedy sort, aren't you? Well, okay, he's in the table now. Ah, right. Yes, we had a plan for this, didn't we? Somewhere. Uh, so, three six, uh, 386. Water analysis. Analysis of the water intended for human consumption, reference number 0035, client, National Department of Water Safety, address, Sacred Heart Hospital Laboratory, Keensight Town Hall, location, Keensight, Idaho, uh, Metropolitan Water Service Building, date, 15th of August, 1998. Uh, following the specified analysis of various water samples gathered from the town of Keen Sight and tested with the equipment on the spot, I can attest to the fact that no harmful elements nor tampering of the filtration system of the main pumping house has been found. I therefore authorise the safe daily consumption of drinking water out of the reservoir to miscellaneous facilities in Keen Sight by means of the town's main water supply. E. Edward, head of the National Department of Water Safety. Now that's interesting, because that will rela relate to uh, something that we find a little bit later on. Very interesting. Pretty sure there's something not quite right with the water in Keen Sight. Anyway. Yep. Six rounds. Six round oh. Yeah, we got so much shotgun ammo. Kind of insane. But as I've said, I'd rather have the shotgun ammo to be honest. Now this looks like a quarantine area. Need an override cable for that. Alright. Hopefully there'll be one close by. You. Who said that? Stay where you are. Nope. 
can that be? What the fuck is going on here? Listen, Doc, I'm looking for someone. A real nasty son of a bitch who got here shortly before I did. You must be alluding to my latest patient. Latest patient? That's right. A real nasty son of a bitch, indeed. He was the one who crudely dissected those security guards you undoubtedly stumbled across. But alas, Doc, open this goddamn door right now. That bastard's got an outstanding account with me, and I came to no, collect... No, 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 I'm afraid not. You simply don't have the authority to make that decision. As you can see from what's left of my staff, I, too, have an account to settle with this man. Now, you listen to me. I ain't gonna tell you again. Open the goddamn door! However... What are you getting at? How should I explain it? As a result of this precarious and unpredictable situation, some matters of the utmost importance remain pending. As you can glean from the carnage out there, I can no longer rely on security due to your friend's sudden appearance. So I need you to handle it instead. Man, you are one insane motherfucker. Insane or not. What should I do once I get there? Don't be so rash, Mr. Walker. Walker? Oh, how appropriate for the situation at hand. Getting there alive will be a big accomplishment in itself, Mr. Walker. Now you'd better skedaddle. I am not a particularly patient man, and my offer may be prone to expire. You can contact me using the intercom when you... Again, the dialogue, it's just, it, it just doesn't land at all. Anyway, we're on half an hour once again, so we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we've got some hacking to do. And uh, we are going to have a little tour around the hospital. So, thank you for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. Thank you.